So, you know, what we showed in the um, oral presentation from this morning, what we've published in a couple of the individual smaller cohorts, um, is that the HER2DX assay, which combines a 27 gene expression signature with information about the anatomic or the clinical anatomic stage of the cancer, the T stage and the N stage, um, does look to nicely predict PCR um, across a sort of broad clinical spectrum of HER2 positive breast cancers from stage two disease to stage three cancers, no negative, no positive, including inflammatory breast cancers. Um, so yes, all of our data so far does uh, suggest that that's the case. And that's the case both when you look at HER2DX on a continuous basis, which is on a scale from zero to 100, or if you break it down into the three um, defined categories, which are low, medium, and high. Um, what we've shown uh, in other cohorts, these weren't so much the <coughs> focus of the data this morning, um, was that it does uh, absolutely look like it does a better job of predicting PCR than other sort of well-established um, previous biomarkers like the intrinsic subtype um, or simply the hormone receptor status. Um, if you put all of those previously known and described variables into a multivariable model, and you put HER2DX in as well, um, then often those other variables will fall out and HER2DX will still uh, remain predictive. So it does seem like it outperforms many of our established biomarkers, which is obviously exciting.